what is going on guys and welcome back to the table of madness and it is time for round three of the booster box showdown now the last round i think really shook up this booster box showdown so in round one we saw what we kind of all thought we were going to see right we all thought for sure digimon going to win gonna take it home easy peasy right easy money it's going against my hero my hero that's its first set. This is its second set. My Hero Academia Universe is not really known for big dollar TCG. Digimon kind of is. So we all thought walk in the park for Digimon, right? Not so quite. Second round did show Digimon actually losing some money. And we saw big money gained by My Hero Academia. So we are all evened up one and one. And if you really think about it right now, after two rounds, My Hero Academia is firmly in the lead with I believe about a $40 net profit between rounds one and rounds two here we are in round three this is round three very pivotal here if my Hero academia can at least keep that momentum even if they lose this round just at least get 10 20 dollars profit and if digimon can somehow just get a good profit let's say they come out with 40 dollars they win but if my Hero academia can just stay above water to keep their head above ground level I really do think it's going to come down to the, the final round here i really think this round is very important for my hero academia to really kind of just keep going keep that steady pace and if they can get to that round six where it's pretty much anybody's game i really do think my hero academia can win this but of course this is why we do it we test these theories out this is why this booster box showdown is a very different type of content and i really think this is why you guys enjoy it and why personally i really enjoy it because i really like looking at the analytical side of tcg but before we get into all that if you're new here please consider hitting that subscribe button at the very least make sure you guys are at least hitting that like button hitting the like button really does help out the algorithm if you guys can share this with anybody i would really appreciate that as well but if you do three simple steps like comment and subscribe you'll enter in a chance for the booster box of the month giveaway we are giving away digimon classic collection at the end of this month so if you want to enter in yourself that giveaway all you gotta do like comment subscribe if you're already a subscriber here no sweat make sure you hit that like button make sure you guys are commenting and that is it all you guys got to do if you're asking yourself hey madness how do i know if i'm in the booster box of the month giveaway link in the description box for our discord channel where i always actively update the uh booster box of the month giveaway names so if you want to make sure if you want to double check you know that kind of stuff Go ahead and join our Discord. You'll also see in our Discord, too, we have a bunch of stuff where we're constantly telling you guys announcements. Hey, when this is coming out, when this is, if we don't stream a certain day, and I mean we because it's me and my buddy Jester Jester over at Twitch TV, which you guys should be familiar with on this channel. Uh, he does a Discord with me as well. We're always putting in announcements. We're always talking to you guys. It's just a way of us communicating and just kind of building up a community of gamers, TCG players, tabletop enthusiasts action figures and collectibles all that kind of stuff so go ahead enter in that discord hang out with us be be part of the community basically is what i'm saying so now that i got that out of the way let's continue talking real quick about this round three and i really want to talk real quick about round two and what something i kind of noticed too real quick before we get into round three something i noticed in round two I said a while ago that this Digimon set was one of the worst, right? A lot of people, if you talk to people that collect Digimon, know everything about Digimon in and out of this TCG, the new TCG, including myself, um, most of us will tell you New Awakening is one of the worst sets in Digimon. And I think it's very um, unique to see New Awakening, and then we just opened up Digital Hazard, right? So last Booster Box Showdown, we did Digital Hazard, and you saw Digital Hazard was big dollar. Big money was being dropped into Digital Hazard. I think it's very unique, and this is why I think a lot of people actually like Digimon. And this is why I think a lot of people, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, I think they can take some cues from Digimon, and this is what I'm talking about. New Awakening was not a very good set. This was, again, one of the worst sets. Two sets later, dropped Digital Hazard, and they seem to listen to their community. We're like, hey, man, you know, we need something a little bit more for us to continue spending money, um, if you go look at a lot of reddits, a lot of people will tell you New Awakening. A lot of Digimon forums, again, they'll tell you New Awakening. Bad, bad, bad set. 
Um, and that actually was also on the cusp of the heels of this set as well, Digimon Classic Collection, which a lot of people liked for his nostalgia, but when it comes to value, just really wasn't there. So it's very nice to see that Digimon, even though this is an older set, that set, a couple sets later, kind of correct its course, come out with Digital Hazard, then they came out with X Record, there's some big money, big dollars on those cards. I think that's something that a lot of people can get behind. Another thing that I'm also noticing too on the My Hero Academia side is that there are some big dollar cards in here, even if this set is an unlimited set, may not be first edition set. I didn't open up first edition on the last My Hero Academia set, and there were some big dollar cards in there too. So again, this is something I kind of liked, and My Hero Academia, one thing I really like, again, I always talk about this, is the value you get, right? That the fact that there is, first of all, there's a box topper that's an XR, perfect right there, just mwah, chef's kiss right there. We love seeing that like seeing that immediately open up a box top room and on top of it you're getting an additional xr so now you're getting five xrs six urs the 11 cards then you get the two quirk packs again these are things i think Yu-Gi-Oh, pokemon uh magic the gathering take your cues from that i would love love to see that especially from Yu-Gi-Oh, because i'm getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh now and i've started purchasing all the cards for the new decks that i'm building and stuff like that so we're gonna be bringing you Yu-Gi-Oh deck battles here very soon um, so I'm very excited for that. I'm very pumped up for that, actually. And I really think you guys are going to enjoy that. Of course, it does take some time to go ahead and film all this, edit it. So we're going to be bringing it to you hopefully by the beginning of October. So look out for that as well. Um, but yeah, going back to what I was talking about, I would just love to see Yu-Gi-Oh! especially kind of change its format a little bit and add some extra value in their cards. Just some things that I'm noticing, some things I really like. And of course, we'll talk more about this at the end of the Booster Box Showdown. So I really just want to quickly talk about just some things I'm noticing. Of course, I'll do a deeper dive later. Definitely do a deep dive on the numbers of all this, the analytical side of this. But I want you guys to leave a comment in the comment section. Are these are some things that you're noticing as well. Is this things that you like? You like the fact that, you know, community that as we as tcg players we talk and the community listens to us and does do better by the players by the collectors because at the end of the day we all just want better product and i want to hear from some of you guys what do you guys think about digimon my hair academy what are some of your thoughts as you're watching this booster box showdown leave a comment down below let me know so now that we got all that out of the way let's get in to round three all right you guys round three underway starting off with digimon again and uh those of you that may have watched the last round, we are going to go through this very quickly. But we're going to try to save as much time for you guys. Because at this point, we already know, seeing all these cards, there's the box topper. Not too bad. Of course, you guys know the other one that we get. And like I said, we're just going to go through these as quickly as we can. Not going to show everything, just going to show the back cards. And oh, right off the bat, a little first pack magic there got ourselves a magnamon so yeah so far what we've noticed from digimon is that basically the alternative arts that we've been pulling so far in this set and the secret rares are just virtually worthless there's your two rares and that's been the biggest problem that i'm noticing not a very good alternative art distribution as we get a Flame Dramon and an Agumon, nothing there. And this is part of the reason, there's a good one. There's the Chimera Mon, another good high value. There are super rares in this set. The Magnamons, the Chimera Mons, the, even the Black War Grey Mons are just very good value wise. But the rest of it just really hasn't been that good. And that's just where we're at right now. There's two more rares. And that's just, like I said, that's just been the biggest problem for Digimon in this booster box showdown. Now, if they would have done what there's Digmon, even the rare alternative arts, just not very good. Now, if they would have done what Digital Hazard did and offered up three alternative arts or a secret rare and two alternative arts, this set probably would be money. This set would be money all day. And that's why I was saying back in my uh, opening there, what I was talking about is that they seem like they really just fixed that. With Digital Hazard, they uh, they really just fixed it. They were like, listen, this is a smaller set. We're going to offer up three alternative arts. Uh, there's Malamyostamon. Not a good one. So, so far, almost halfway through, nothing nothing great and again what also hurt this set too was the secret rares the secret rares were very 
very bad in this set. When I mean bad, I mean putrid. The alternative arts, I think the most expensive one is, I think $12 now. It's like $12.98 or something like that. So not very good. And that's where you're constantly, you can easily see it that this set, there's Rapid Mon. This set had the potential because the super rares are a lot of staples and a lot of decks. This is a staple. It was also the first set that offered the um, the dual colors. So there was the potential for that. And they just really missed the mark. That's all. There it is. There's the secret rare alternative art that I was talking about. And you think, right? Good looking card. Not the best secret rare alternative art I've seen. Good looking though. It's decent. Uh, you think like right off the bat, secret rare alternative art, generally speaking, big dollar card, right? Nope. Like I said, last time I remember that card was worth about a solid $11. I'll be very curious to uh, see as the uh, day of this recording to see how well the price is. So that is our first secret rare. I think we hit a secret rare just about on every box but one. And there's an opportunity for at least a decent alternative art. We're really looking for, when you want alternative arts, you want the Chimera Mon or the Black War Gray Mon alternative art. Those are probably the two biggest dollar card. And, oh, Ryudamon. That's the second one we pulled. Not a bad one. I think it's about 16 bucks. So I think this box is looking uh, looking a little bit better than what we've seen so far. And this round, very, very pivotal for Digimon. Because if My Hero wins, I mean, there's another super rare. We're looking at bringing back My Hero Academia in the next Booster Box Showdown. And that would be in, what, November? So, we'll have to see what sets are coming out then. And see who can challenge them if they win, of course. But if Digimon is the winner, I might just bring them back again and again until, some, until somebody knocks them off. I think that's what we should do. I think we should just continuously bring back the winners until someone knocks them off. If you're not a fan of Digimon, <laughs> this could piss you off. Got two more packs. I think this booster box probably is going to go down as, yeah, probably going to go down as one of the better ones. If we can pull a Black War Greymon, then it, it's going to be really good. Because Black War Greymon is still hovering at about, I think it, it came down a little bit, but it's still hovering, I think, at like 1170. So if there's a Black War Greymon in here, it's going to be a good box. And it's a, oh, super rare. Or Yurimon. So, All right, this is now box number two. And if you're new here and you're watching this and you're like, wait a minute, why do the Digimon get two booster boxes? Well, a case, this is case versus case. So this is one case versus another case. And unfortunately, there's your box topper. Unfortunately, um, Digimon has 12 booster boxes, whereas My Hero Academia only six. So it is a 6v12 match here. But it's a six round fight. And I think for the future, I think I might just try to make it even. Like if it's six booster boxes, I might just spring for the extra case and just do a straight up 1v1. Um, just because there is a, there seems to be a little bit of confusion. The winner is basically just declared on who has the best value at the end. So ooh, there's an Imperial Jomon. There's his regular version. This is such an inexpensive card. It's crazy to me. This was a secret rare. And it's just so inexpensive. Yeah, there seems like I said, there seems to be some confusion. The winner just basically, like I said, is declared on who just has the best value. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the best value. Because I want to know, and I think you guys deserve to know who has the best value. Who's putting, you know, their product out there for the players for the collectors and saying hey listen this is an inexpensive product or this is a 75 dollars product this this is a hundred dollar product but we promise you you're gonna get 90 dollars to 100 plus dollars of value per booster box you spend 50 you're gonna get 60 dollars back you spend 50 you're gonna get 50 back you're gonna spend 50 you're gonna get 45 back um if you guys watched the last booster box showdown it was Yu-Gi-Oh versus, ooh, oh, two secret rares. Wow. This is the alternative art. That's a first. 
So two secret rares in one box, one regular and one alternative art. But yeah, we're just seeing who just puts, like I said, who puts the value into their booster boxes. Like I said, I think you guys should know and deserve to know. This is like one of those things I'm doing it so you don't, you guys don't have to. That is the purpose of a lot of this. I always put my money where my mouth is. When I say, listen, this product sucks, I can prove it. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. And that's the whole purpose of the booster box showdown. And that's why I said, I think this is one of the reasons why this is such a unique piece of content. And I think this content should be out there. I think someone should be doing it. So I always thought someone should be doing it. So why not me? I, for the life of me, I, I've tried finding somebody, you know, I, I tried looking, you know, I looked at all the upper YouTuber TCG collectors out there and I wanted to see who was doing this. Is there anybody out there that's doing this? Um, the closest guy I can come up with would be Danny Phantom. He might be the only one, but he's strictly doing it on a Pokemon scale. But when it comes to value, man, he really shows you, you know, is there any value? You know, like if, if you guys watched any of his videos, I mean, he does a deep dive on the analytics side. I'm trying to show you guys throughout the, the entire TCG community from Pokemon to Digimon to My Hero Academia. We're giving everybody a shot here. Soon we'll be bringing in Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. Soon we will be doing all of the TCGs. Soon we'll be, you know, opening up just about everybody. We've done Yu-Gi-Oh! We've done a lot of Digimon. We've done Flesh and Blood here on this channel. Uh, we've, we've dabbled in Pokemon. I'm bringing you guys more Pokemon. Because again, I think that deserves to be a little talk, talked about a little bit more. And I really do think Pokemon is giving the players the freaking shaft, man. Especially on this new set, man. Lost Origins is a garbage of a set. When it comes to pull rates. Good value, but garbage on the pull rates. Alright, there's another super rare. I really like this method of just ripping them open as fast as I can. And just going straight to the back and looking for these cards. Especially because, like I said, this is two booster boxes, man. I don't have time to sit here and look at everything. And your guys' time is valuable, so... I don't want to waste it. Like I said, I think at the end of this month, I'll be bringing you guys some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! tins. 2022 tins are about to be released. I am excited because, like I said, I, I've always said here on this channel, Yu-Gi-Oh! collector sets, they always seem to do very well. So I'm curious to see how well they do this set. And the, the tins, they usually offer a lot of great reprints. So I'm excited. And that is going to do it for Digimon. If you're rooting for My Hero Academia, this is going to make you very happy. So of course you guys know the price per box for both of these combined, $102.24. Total value pulled, $94.75 for another loss of $7.49. If My Hero Academia can win this round, I really do think they're going to take home the victory all the way up until about round 6. Very disappointing by Digimon standards. All right, now to see how well My Hero Academia can respond to Digimon. So we are about to get another look at My Hero Academia. And last round, I just still can't get over last round, man. So right off the bat, we're starting with a Grape Rush. That is the XR. That's a good one. So let's go ahead and... Highlight the box topper right there. Little grape brush action. And once again, starting off with our quirk packs and our plus ultra pack. And again, I didn't say this in the last video, but it, if you want one of these packs, eBay, go look it up. Uh, My Hero Academia Plus Ultra Pack 2.0. Make sure you guys are spending under $5. There's a lot of guys out there that are selling these for about $10, $12. 13 plus dollars do not buy it that is just too damn expensive i see a good amount of people still selling these in, either in bulk whether they want 28 for seven or something like that that's a good price or just individually selling them for about four or five dollars um that's the price you want it at so we have ourselves a mentor legacy punch that is a nice promo right there and it's so exciting to just open up my hero academia just like i said there's such an excitement factor about opening up these cards they just really are it's just some really gorgeous looking cards. And let's get the other plus ultra pack. And I just like opening up these promos too because these are just separated from the booster box. I mean, they're still part of the 
the uh, 2.0 set. Oh, Ectoplasm. Beautiful, beautiful card there. Look at that one. Nice promo there. And sometimes these promos surprise me when I go, you know, when I'm editing the video and I look it up and I'm like, wow, that's actually pretty, pretty nice price on that. It's good value. So let's go ahead now. Cork pack number one. We got ourselves a Invincible Clasp. Saw that one the last round. So nothing... Nothing new there. That's a nice one. And like I said, I just love this right off the bat, right? You're opening up a bunch of cork packs. And there we go. Another advice for winners. So we saw that one too. And like I said, what I like about this is like before we even get into a booster box, we're already starting off with what? Five cards, five promos, one XR4 promos. Just... Again, just that's something that's just unbelievable to me. And again, I could really think that a lot of these companies can learn a thing or two. All right, let's go ahead and do this as well. So, oh, right off with a UR. Nothing there. No rare there, but we did start off with a UR and we got ourselves a nice sinister paralyzation. Another nice stain card. And this set really does bring out a lot which is awesome because again a lot of people just fell in love with him and his character so to have a set pretty much kind of like dedicated to look at that another stain there to have a set kind of dedicated to him is just awesome and this is a slashing whirlwind this too we've already seen before so that's good so seeing some nice cards from him so we really want to see Toga, Yuraka, and oh, speaking of Zero Gravity Barrier, man, this box is just hitting off on all cylinders. But I was just saying, Toga, Yuraka, these waifus of my hero really do hold a nice set of value. So My Hero Academia, again, coming in hot. We would love, love to see an XSR. And that is just a rare, nothing there. Kind of did a miss there. There's an XR, and there it is. Toga, Knight Slice, and a rare to go with it as well. Toga coming in. I, I literally just said, like, these are the cards you're looking for. This is a new one. This is a Knight Slice, and this is new. So... Off the top of my head, I cannot tell you what the price is on this card. At the moment, I can't. We're going to find out when I do some editing. That's another reason why I like doing this, man. That's that, that excitement level. And there is a UR. Aiming for number one. We've seen this one, too. So we're starting to see some, uh, some duplicates, some copies here. That's okay. Man, we're really striking on all the UARs, man. That's a lot of UARs we pulled here in the early uh, early going. And just ourselves some rares. Like I said, I really want you guys to try and, if you could, like I said, sound off in the comment section. I really want to hear from you guys. Like, what are you guys thinking when you're, you know, you're watching all of these my, the My Hero Academia booster boxes? Is this something that, you know, you see here and now maybe you're thinking about like, hey, you know, I, I want to go purchase some my Hero Academia. Are you interested in the booster box collecting side of this or the card game of it? Um, oh, another XR. Nice. Uh, the card game in general is just so damn hard to figure out. Again, I, I, I've i tried. I, I've given up now. This is the Cavalry Chariot Advance. And that's a nice XR. Got a good old shadow there. I, I, I've tried. I've tried so hard to learn this card game. I, I've just, I can't. I, I just give up. Too difficult for me. All right. That's going to do it on the right side of this booster box. That's a very good right side hero killer for the rare. Now we're on the left side. Come on. Where's that XSR, man? That's a $100 card. I would love nothing more than to pull one of the most expensive cards here come on what you got for me my hero there is a ur electromagnetic stomp another card we've seen before i think we saw this one the last round not a bad looking card there's that gadget chick 
loves her babies. That's what she calls uh, all her <laughs> all her inventions. They're her babies. So the URs really just popping off here. A lot of URs. I think that's going to do it for the URs. If we get anything, it would be there. It is XR double jab pummel. We've seen this card before, and it is a beautiful card. Also very hefty on the price. That is about it. I think this was what? The 24 the $32 card. I'll have to refresh my memory. But it has a good price range. And it is a beautiful card, by the way. I really wish... This camera would pick it up a little bit more, but it really doesn't. Uh, this is what I mean by this is a nice foil, and they went all out on this card in the foiling. The nice inlays are on all of the effects. Really does pop through. Looks really nice. Excellent card. I said this earlier, right? I said Yuraka and Toga. Those two. We call it the waifu tax, man. Those cards are just going to be more expensive because of who they are. And there's a rare. So this box, very good to me so far, I think. The icing on the cake would just be the pull that XSR. I would love nothing more than to pull that. Because I think if we were to pull that card, I think it would just be... Oh! XR! Zuku Midoriya! That is a nice XR. Oh, man! Talk about foiling on this bad boy. Let me pull this out of the sleeve for a second here. Hold on. Let me see if I can get that on the camera. Look at that. That is a gorgeous shine right there. Oh, man. Zuku Midoriya XR. Oof. I don't know. That's a beautiful card. I might... I don't think I can let this one go, to be honest with you guys. I got another double jab pummel, and I got a Zuku Midoriya. I think I might get both of those graded. I've kept some cards off to the side because I have thought to myself, like, man, these cards graded in a nice slab would be a CGC, PSA, HGA hybrid grading. I think would be amazing to see those. Oof, this box has been good to me. All right, next one. Just some rares. We have ourselves four more packs, so four opportunities to somehow pull an XSR. Can we do it? Not on this one. How about this pack? Is this going to have it? I'm pretty sure at this point we're pretty much done with the hit. I don't think we're going to get any more. We might get, I was going to say, we might get the one more UR, and there it is. So there we go. Okay, nice. Giant Bite Detention, another card we've seen before. So, well, that didn't go as according as I thought it was going to go, but a profit is a profit. So, total value pulled here was $62.41 for a nice, measly profit of $2.41, but a profit is a profit. When you get your value back in a booster box, that's really all you can ask for. And at least I can say that comfortably here, that at least I got my money's worth out of this booster box. So no matter which way you look at it, that is a positive in my book. And there it is. Round three is in the books, you guys. And the winner, surprisingly again, if round three is my hero, Academia. That is right. I have been so impressed with this product from My Hero Academia. Josco Universe is really putting out there some good product. And exactly what I mean by that is at the very least, so far in round one, we lost minimal dollars. In round two, we gained big dollars. And here in round three, we actually gained our value back. When you purchase a booster box, guys, I want you guys to really think about this. When you purchase a booster box, how often do you see yourself getting your money's, uh, your value back out of that product, right? If you're very familiar with Pokemon, I'm talking about the bigger, the bigger companies, right? If you're familiar with Pokemon, if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering, nine times out of 10, you do not get your value back. So to see other companies giving your value back, is a good and welcoming sign, and it's something that you guys should really be taking notice of, and this is why 
Can't stress this enough. This is why we do this. This is why I do this for you guys. So you guys can see who's putting the money into what sets, where, where is it going, which companies, who's putting their money where their mouth is. And I think that's very important, especially for a lot of us out there who, again, work our asses off eight to five, make a living, a good living, a solid living. And then we enjoy these hobbies. And when we purchase this product, we need to be getting back that value. It's an even exchange. I purchase something, you give me something in return. Just purchasing a booster box and getting that in return is not good enough anymore. At least in my opinion, that is not a good sign. That is not good. When I did the booster box show, and it was not a good sign to see how much money I'd lost out of an entire case of Yu-Gi-Oh uh, booster boxes. That was not a good look, and that's not a good look for Yu-Gi-Oh. Then when you go purchase the collector sets, you're losing minimal dollars, which is, that's good. So why can't they do that in the same in their booster boxes? Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, they all do the same thing to you. We all know this to be true, and this is why we do the booster box showdown. Even Digimon, I'm losing minimal dollars. My Hero Academia is in the driver's seat here in this booster box showdown, but even just looking at the, the loser so far, which would be Digimon, at least I'm only losing five, ten dollars minimally. I can I can look at that and say, listen, I spent this money of five dollars worth of fun, ten dollars worth of fun. I'm okay with that. But when I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! and I rewatched that booster box shot, I actually did. I rewatched a lot of it and I saw how much money I really did lose. I had to sit there and say to myself, like, wow, who else is really losing that much money? And then you go look at guys like Danny Phantom in the Pokemon business, guys like him, these bigger YouTubers, you will see where the money is right now it's not in these products right now i think they these companies need to step it up man i really do think that and i think it's very impressive to see that my hero academia is doing such a good job so far things could drastically change in the next three rounds we could see a total dive bomb a nose dive straight into the ground i don't think that's going to happen but we could see that happening but i am happy to see that and i'm also happy to see that my hero academia is competing and i'm happy that we are getting a more competitive booster box showdown so again round three goes to my hero academia and they are now just directly in the driver's seat three more rounds to go can digimon turn it around they certainly can but if my hero academia can just keep again stay above water it looks like we are going to have my hero academia be claimed the winner again i thought this was the most important round let me know what you guys think about round three of the booster box showdown sound off in the comment section as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to enter in the Booster Box of the Month giveaway. And that is going to do it. We'll see you guys next time right here at the Table of Madness.